So this is another myth of the collection. Yes, this is one of the most uh, striking works. It's the Card Players by Cezanne. There's only a five that um, that he did, and they're all slightly uh, different. This one is very pared down. There's only two uh, figures that are not dialoguing. They're just sitting face to face. And you would think that it was taken um, at the little the local village cafe, but actually it was uh, it was very staged. These are two models that were um, workers on the estate of Cézanne in Aix. At the Jazz de Buffon. At the Jazz de Buffon, exactly. Who posed for him separately, and then Cézanne um, reconstructed the, the composition. So it's a very thought through um, composition. And it um, it's a, has a slight eeriness and a slight uh, quiet. But he was also looking for something very stable. He said he wanted something that was timeless. And these figures, who he believed were the symbols of, of Provence, of these traditions and these um, centuries and centuries of, uh, of workers in, in Provence, um, that's what he was trying to capture in these, um, in these works. But there's a problem of symmetry in the painting. How so? <laughs> so, because the bottle is in the middle, but on the rest of the composition, it's not symmetric, right? Mm, I see. Yes, and actually the composition is also slightly tilted, and so it, it seems to, um, to shift towards, uh, towards the left. And so I think that was, um, that's also part of, of Cezanne's uh, technique. technique. Also, if you look at the, the proportions of the figures, here the... The, it doesn't quite work because he has a very small head, a very long torso, and then you kind of lose his his um, his feet, his um, yes, his legs. But actually, that's not what Cezanne is is about. He wants to construct each element individually, um, so the whole matters maybe less than each individual part.